Welcome everybody. For this recipe today, I'll be showing you how to make quick bread. And to make this you need half a teaspoon of mixed herbs, a quarter teaspoon of salt and one teaspoon of sugar. And we're gonna give those dry ingredients a mix before we add in our next little seasoning. This is optional, you don't have to add it in. I just wanted to take my flavors a little far today. And I'll be adding in this garlic pepper um, seasoning it has some salt in it that's why I didn't put in as much salt I only put in quarter teaspoon so you'll be adding your other quarter teaspoon of salt in here and you're just gonna give that a nice mix before we add in our wet ingredients and those are one cup of lukewarm water you can also add a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar or just white wine vinegar also works or just lemon juice to this to help your dough rise a bit more um, depending on how powerful the self-rising flour is mix that in until it forms a nice stiff batter that you will see that's gonna look like this Next we'll be making our garlic butter and to make that I just used 2 tablespoons of butter that I melted in a pot and once it got hot I added in my 2 teaspoons of garlic and I just stirred that in and it got fry nicely. And yeah you can add more or less garlic depending on how garlicky you want your bread. I really like garlic so I added 2 teaspoons but you could also just do with 1 teaspoon that's also fine. Then we're going to wait for it to cool down a little bit because we'll be using 2 tablespoons of this garlic butter in our dough. I know that we already needed it but we're gonna need it for another minute or two just to incorporate that garlic infused butter in there. You don't have to do this, this is optional. I just think it amps up the flavor a little bit more to a hundred and who doesn't like flavor? Otherwise you can also just use all of it to stuff the incisions that we're gonna make in the bread with it and to put on top and around the bread so that it's nice and garlicky on the outside and has a lovely delicious crispy exterior anyway swiftly moving along i also am showing you how to make um, cute little bread sticks with the batter i decided to cut them in half and then twist them so that i can have the garlic on the inside of the bread when it pulls apart it's just going to be glorious the, 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 the bread does not burn and that it cooks at the right time with moisture and it's nice and moist that's a black bean burger that's what made for me. That'll also be cooking up. 